when you look at the full size engine the frames are made from wood sandwiched between two uh, steel plates so to simulate this I've machined a groove along the length of the frame so we need to fit in a strip of wood to make it look like the uh, actual real engine so I've got uh, a nice piece of five millimeter thick maple we can use which is just the right width to fit in here maybe need sand down a little bit but it's pretty close so let's go and uh, cut some strips So now we've got a quite a rough edge so I just clean this on the sandpaper. Just put it on there and just give it a quick to and fro. So working against the block just helps make sure I get that square. And then just clean the edges so I've got some wet and dry underneath. Just clean the edges up and that's ready for the next one so that's what it'll finally look like I'll probably stain that down a little bit to a darker colour but we'll wait until uh, we come to paint the model before we we'll put those in so we'll keep it to one side. As you can see I've got the horn plates, or maybe I should just call them horns, I'm not sure, but anyway, I've got the horn plates in place on the frames. When you look at the photographs of the engine, the horn plates are attached uh, with hex head bolts. And even when you look at older photographs, um, th they also look like they're attached with hex head bolts. However, I do like the uh, square headed bolts. I think they're a nice feature. So I'm going to use square headed bolts. So I'm going to cheat. They're actually square headed rivets. I'm going to rivet them on on the other side. This side's hidden on the inside of the engine anyway. So it may be the only line model with square headed rivets. So we'll take a little step back in time and I'll show you how I went about uh, getting these horn plates in place and getting one lined up with the other. That should be the other way around. Okay, so we'll have a look at that. We're ready now to uh, attach the horn plates to the frame. So I've got them clamped in the correct place, I've just uh, put these on and measured up the correct position. So I'm going to do my usual trick, I'm going to glue these in place uh, so that they can be held in the correct position for drilling for the rivets later on. So I'll have to take these off to uh, glue them, so to make sure I get them in the right place I'm just going to clamp a piece of metal up against the side of the horn plate okay put a bit of hair fix glue on Reclamp it just to keep it in place till the glue sets. And the next one.
just realised I've put that on the wrong way around. Will it come off? Oh! So I put this one the wrong way around. Remember the side of the spare side, as you can see, that has the flange on, has to be on the back side or the inside of the, the locomotive. So I had to take it off and reposition it. Uh, so we're ready for another go. It's quite surprising how strong the glue is actually. It took a bit of knocking off, but never mind. Do it again. Right, get it the right way around this time. There we are. So I'm going to put a couple of 3 16 packers in and clamp the other uh, frame to this first one here. I'm just going to clamp that very lightly. I'm going to use a square on this end to get them both to the same position. So they're perfectly in line. Okay. <coughs> Clamp them both down at this end. That's it, perfect. Okay, so now so this one fits in here. So this is the spare set that I used when I assembled these together. So the idea is I can use that to line these up. Like so. So put a bit of glue on, make sure I put it the right way around. Okay, let's take it apart. Looks good. So we're ready for drilling and ready for riveting. Because my square head rivets are made from key steel, which is quite tough, I need to anneal them to make them a lot softer for riveting. So I need to heat them to a cherry red. However, I need them to cool down slowly. So I've placed them between two steel plates. And I'll heat the plates up to a cherry red. And those two plates will cool down quite slowly. 
So that will allow the uh, rivets to cool down slowly and hopefully soften a lot easier. So that's a quick shot of the rivets between the two plates, still nice and warm, just cooling off slowly. I'll put a little bit of Loctite on the rivet before I put it in so that when I orientate the square head to the position I want it, the Loctite will keep it in place, hopefully. Quite a neat fit the rivets. Well, could have probably done a little bit of a better job there, but this side of the horn plate isn't seen on the finished model. So we'll be okay, I think. That side looks pretty good. Do like the square heads. It's a little bit different. I've temporarily reassembled the loco. So that's a progress so far. If you enjoyed this video and like to follow the series, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you next time.